Yes, you can survive the extreme heat without sacrificing your style. I'll tell you how. Keep on watching. The heat hits different, okay? When you're plus size, curvy, fat, whatever it is that you self-identify as. And um, because of all of our extra curvaceousness, okay, being outside in the heat can honestly feel like a punishment. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you dressing tips to help you survive the heat as well as some outfit ideas. If you're new here, hi, my name is Chi Chi. On this channel, we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And guess what? This video is video two of vlog week. Your girl has set some goals, okay? Some numbers. We're trying to get our numbers up. So every single day for the next five more days, I think, where I'm gonna be posting a brand new video. If you have not seen video one of Vlog Week, I will be linking it for you guys in the description and somewhere above my head. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So this outfit lines up perfectly with one of the best tips I can give you for dressing for the extreme heat, and that is to choose pieces that fall away from the body. When I shared this um, dress in my latest haul, it was an instant hit. Dresses like this are a game changer. Now you would think because of the nature of this dress, because it has sleeves and it's, you know, and there's a lot of fabric that it would make you warm. But I was surprisingly cool shooting this photo on a 95 degree afternoon in this dress. It's a great idea to fill your summer wardrobe with loose fitting jumpsuits and flowy dresses. Another bonus tip, try to stick to prints because solid colors tend to show sweat stains. So the focus of this outfit was definitely the dress with its smock style and its full sleeves. So I decided to play around with accessories that complemented the dress. I opted for these bright green wraparound sandals that are about two years old now. I will do my best to link something similar. And then I added a few bracelets and finished things off with my favorite new pouch bag. This dress is perfect to wear to brunch with friends, a fancy barbecue slash engagement party. You could even wear this to a picnic in the park if you really feel like getting zhuzhed up. The next tip I want to give you has to do with materials. When it comes to the summer time, you want to pay attention to the type of materials you choose. Now, technically you don't associate black with summer. However, like I was saying in my must have accessories video, you can totally wear black during the summer. If you're gonna go for a darker color instead of a light and bright color, this would be the one time where paying attention to the fabrication and the materials your pieces are made out of matter. Because darker colors tend to absorb more heat, opt for cotton, lightweight linens, um, even silks. These fabrics are naturally breathable and will give you the most ventilation. So here I decided to pair this black bodysuit with my favorite pair of shorts. I had them in two other colors. If you haven't seen my shorts, how to pick the perfect pair of shorts video, it's on Instagram. If I remember, I will link it down below. One of the biggest tips I give is if you find the perfect pair of shorts, buy multiples. I digress. So I paired it bodysuit with the shorts and this is a look that I would wear to something casual, maybe like a backyard kickback, a barbecue, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I decided to pair it with my wraparound flat. You guys know I absolutely love these sandals and to me they're a summer must have. And to finish things off and keep the look monochrome, I added my new black woven pouch back. Now. If you're gonna be wearing this look from day to night, or if you're a little bit conscious of your arms, I highly recommend investing in a couple of throw-on shirts that are like lightweight um, or kimonos like I've done here. So this look would easily transition from day to this shirt. Night. 
plus its details will actually be included in a video that's coming up later on this week. So make sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss that video when it goes live. Also, come closer, come closer. May have a little secret that I shared in the community tab. So you definitely want to check now, that out. If you're out. lucky enough to be invited to a pool party, this next look is perfect for that. When dressing for a pool party, you wanna choose pieces that you know that can transition in and out from a pool party. For example, maybe you're going to a brunch and then from the brunch you're going to a pool party. I love shirt dresses for this because you can button them up, wear them as a dress, and then you can unbutton them and, and then voila, you have a cute cover up. So for the brunch version of this look, I decided to button up this pink caftan and then use the belt to cinch in my waist. Keeping things simple and the dress the focus of the look, I, I opted for my handy dandy um, neutral colored bamboo bag. And now for shoes, I decided to go with my favorite white square toed tie up sandals. Speaking of shoes, this leads me to the next tip for dressing for the extreme heat. Footwear matters. Stay away as much as possible from closed-toed shoes. If you have to wear closed-toed shoes for work or for whatever reason, try to look for closed-toed shoes made out of breathable fabrics, closed-toed shoes with cool cutouts like slingbacks. That is the complete brunch look. Now to transform the outfit for a pool party, all you have to do is unbutton those buttons, throw on your favorite bathing suit, and add your perfect pool slash beach tote. If you're like me and you're a pants girl, summer can be a little tricky. In the extreme heat, try a summer pant instead of a jean. I'm sure you're wondering what's a summer pant. I'm glad you asked. Basically, they are soft pants made in a variety of styles. And what really sets them apart is the fact that they're made out of lightweight fabrics that are neither clingy or tight. So for this look, I wanted to go with a light and bright, AKA cooling monochrome moment. This bodysuit, which I featured in my latest Zara haul, into these new in pants. As soon as I saw it, I knew the color was a must. Finish things off with floral pumps and I added my handy dandy statement neutral bag. What do you think about this look? Comment below. Now if you have to be outside in the extreme heat, it may feel like you would rather be naked. In lieu of being naked, consider wearing a piece with built-in cutouts. Whatever reason, clothes with built-in cutouts, especially in the back, are a yes. Okay, it doesn't matter how hot you are. If you if your back's out and that breeze touches it, it drops the your inner temperature at least 10 degrees. So for this look, I decided to wear a pair of jeans. Now, if you're going to wear jeans, make sure you go for lighter washes and just lighter formulations. That's why I love these jeans. They have cutouts. To take the cutouts up another level, I decided to transform this wraparound top. It is normally wrapped around in the front. I decided to turn it around and wrap it around in the back. That gives me all of the ventilation I need in the back. This shirt already on its own, it's very light, it's very airy, it's very gauzy. I had to wear jeans. On a really hot day, this look would be perfect. If you enjoyed this video and you found it useful and helpful, you got some outfit inspo, and you want more videos just like this, all you have to do is subscribe now. Now, when I'm not on the YouTubes, which is typically <laughs> six days out of seven days a week, I am on Instagram. So for not following me on Instagram, come on over. Let's be friends. I'm on stories daily and I share even more outfit inspo. Bonus. Bonus tip. You may want to consider picking up a handheld fan. These have been a game changer for me on shoots. And the best part of this fan is that not only is it a fan, it also brings out a cooling mist. 
See my latest Amazon video for a direct link to this exact fan. For more outfit ideas and summer styling, check out this video and this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. Wait, wait, wait. Make sure you check out the community tab because you don't want to miss the surprise